a big believer that when it comes to discovering Oregon, some of the best places to explore are hiding in plain sight, sometimes as close as our own backyards. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, we discover a county that is home to one of the best mountain bike locations in the state, has a covered bridge and a cool creek for a retreat, also one of the oldest wineries in the state, and one of the best smelling places of all. Come on along as we explore Oregon's Polk County. The scenery zips past at a shattering pace when you fly across Bonsai Downhill at Black Rock Mountain in Polk County. It's free riding across 500 acres of state forest land, but most folks call it a little piece of heaven. You get out here in the trees, you're away from everything else. That may be true, but it's changing fast as more visitors discover Polk County's hidden gems. They're worth the time to seek out and enjoy like Lucky Mute Falls near Fall City, Oregon, where the Lucky Mute River cuts a beeline through eastern flanks of the Coast Range. It falls in a heart-pounding moment. It's a good start for a day-long adventure across a rural county that's perfect getaway from city hubbub and noise. Some Polk County back roads don't give you much choice, but get off the road to see the sights. So it is on State Highway 223 at Rittner Creek, where a covered bridge allows you to park and take a stroll. It's an interesting place because really, the bridge shouldn't be here at all. 40 years ago, the bridge was in ruins, but local school children thought the historic bridge was worth saving. A local ballot measure did just that in 74. The rebuilt bridge is now a park and a fine place to beat the heat before you move on just 30 minutes to the east to reach the scenic Eola Hills Legacy Vineyard where owner Tom Huggins is living his dream. And you're in a business where people are, for the most part, pretty darn happy. Tom planted his first grapes in 82, so Eola Vineyard is one of Oregon's oldest. He says he was drawn to winemaking when he discovered what's not to like. Everything that they did revolved around making wine, selling wine, growing grapes, and they all just loved what they were doing. And I decided, I'm going to try to do this myself. <laughs> He grows Pinot Noir and other varieties across 160 acres. Each week, they serve their wine to hundreds of visitors at the tasting room in nearby Ricreal. Yola's Legacy Vineyard is a great place to relax and savor a broad scenic apron of the Willamette Valley. People, you know, really didn't know a lot about lavender when we first started. So it's really neat to see people wanting to come in and get some unique varieties and grow an acre or two for themselves. Lavender Lake Farms, geez, that smells great, helps the world smell better. Located off Highway 99, it's an oasis of calm and serenity, and it's been an up and running family operation since 1990. Rhonda Johnson says lavender history reaches back through the centuries of Roman, Greek, and Egyptian cultures. It's been used as an aromatic perfume, a cleanser, medicine, and it's found in many food recipes. Lavender lemonade. That is delicious. Thank you. It's easy to grow, tolerates heat and cold, doesn't like fertilizer, and it's a pretty addition to any landscape. Once you start to see one or two of the buds open up to a flower, that's exactly when you want to cut it to dry it. If you wait until they open up to a flower, they won't stay on the stem and they'll fall off. Lavender Lake Farms, like all the stops in this Polk County wandering, is open year round. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information for all the locations in this week's Polk County Getaway right here on the Travel Oregon website, so be sure to check it out. And if you're looking for new places to discover in Oregon, please consider my new book, Grant's Getaways, A Guide to Wildlife Watching in Oregon. Inside the book, you'll find 48 uniquely Oregon adventures, highlighting many of our fish and wildlife encounters through the years. Each adventure will set you on your own path, discovering more about Oregon. Scores of colorful photos by getaway photographer Jeff Kastner show off some of our finest moments in the field. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCulley.